welcome back to my channel. Um, I'm Rain. I'm going to be doing a reading on why they think you're so hot. But as you can see, this is a collaboration with the one, the only, Samantha James Tarot. Um, yeah, she's awesome. She's awesome. She's an amazing reader. And honestly, she's an excellent reader, excellent communicator, just excellence, pure excellence when it comes to this tarot shit, okay? Um, so be sure to go over, check out her reading. Um, they're 18 plus fantasies, okay? Um, but if you want to book a personal reading with me, you can find that in my description box below. Um, also, if you want to follow any of my socials, those are in the description box below as well. We're going to get straight into these piles. Okay, go ahead, choose your pile. I'll see you at your reading. Pile number one, why they think you're so hot. Um, whew, this person feels like you bring justice into their life. I mean, why they feel like you're so hot is because it's like you, you're a hard worker. Okay, all right, so we're going into another territory though because when I'm speaking on this, I'm not talking about work. You're a hard worker. You put in a lot of... You're a giver. You're a giver, pal number one. Mm -hmm. They feel like you're so hot because um, you're such a giver. You're fair. All right? And this even bleeds over into the bedroom. Um, they feel like you're such a fucking giver. <laughs> you get pleasure out of just giving to people, out of pleasing people. Mm-hmm or pleasing them, right? Um, you get pleasure out of pleasing them. So yeah, the reason why you're so hot to this person is because of the way, oh my God, and I heard head game is crazy. <laughs> right? So that's why, that's why they feel like you're so hot. Um, you have a, I mean, not everybody here, but some of you have a kink or something like that where you just love to give and you love to please and you love to do, right? You are a giver. You are a doer, okay? Um, and this is why they think you're so hot um, and you're so upfront about whatever this is. So if, this, if that wasn't the kink that I was speaking on, uh, if that doesn't resonate for you, then there's something that you do that you love to talk about or that you're upfront about or that... It's like with your romantic partners, you let them know, yeah, you let them know, hey, I'm into this, you know, and I want to do this or I want to do this for you. And this could really just be you giving to people or uh, giving of yourself. Uh huh. Yeah. Pile number one, the vibes that I'm getting with you is that you have something that you do that they love and it's something that you you do for people I, I don't know hmm it's like your specialty <laughs> it's like your cherry on top okay and I really I'm picking up on um head so this really could just be like you give really 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 good head and maybe you do some extra tricks to some you're doing some extra tricks and they're like what did you just do to me <laughs> what was that i have never felt that before or something um yeah that's why they think you're hot it's about it's because you're so upfront about whatever it is you're into um you're it's not that you're easy to please i don't get that but i get that you know yourself very well and so with you knowing yourself very well you're able yeah you're able to communicate very clearly hey this is what i like and I like this, and I like this. Yeah, you're even bossy. Mm -hmm. That's another reason why they feel like you're hot. Because you're bossy. You know what you like, and you're bossy about that shit. You're like, no, I, I, I don't want it that way. I want it this way. Yeah, so whoever you're with, they know how to please you. They feel very safe in that, knowing how to please you. Because you already came with the rules, okay? Listen, I like this, 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 and this. And they're like, bet. I'm about to turn this shit up. I'm about to do everything you just said. And I'm about to take it to a whole nother level or something like that. Why do they think? Why do they think my pile number ones is so hot, Spirit? Why do they think my pile number ones is so hot? Yeah, and there's an uh, energy here of you like doing all the work. You do all of the work. Again, I really am feeling like this is what you just like to do. It's not that somebody's getting you to do all the work, but you do. 
it's like you like to show your skills you like to show what you can do yeah this is why they think you're so hot because whoever it is you're with they feel (laughs) it's not that they wouldn't put in work or that they wouldn't and mind you I'm speaking about sex um it's not that they wouldn't do their part it's that you like to and you like to show what you can do what you're capable of or something like that Mm -hmm. give me one more card spirit why do they think my pile number ones is so hot Mm -hmm. yeah again you do something you got some tricks you got some something that you're doing and you i feel like you just get enjoyment out of seeing people's reaction to what it is that you do and this is why they think you're hot There's an energy of people or this person feeling like they don't really have to do much. There's honestly an energy of you doing all the work. Like I said, all of the work. Mm Mm-hmm. And you want to. This isn't an energy where you are doing all the work and you don't want to do it. Why do they think my pile number ones is so hot? And you... It's because of the way you speak to people, pile number one. You have this cutting way of speaking to people to them that they love um heavy communicator pal number one why do they think you're hot i feel like you may be leaving people speechless here i I don't know i don't know why i'm feeling that way yeah okay you go after oh wow okay Yeah, pile number one, you're you're the pleasers here. You like to please people. You like to give pleasure. You like to do things for people. You like to um, not necessarily provide, but it's kind of like you like to take care. That's what it is. You like to take care of people So um, or them, right? I keep saying people, but you like to take care of them. And they think that that's so hot. Again, I'm feeling an energy here where the, whoever this person is, they just feel so sexually taken care of by you. You have like your the set your sex is healing, pile number one. It's healing, and I'm not picking up on that. Hmm. It's healing in a way of the other person knows that that they pleased you. Okay. The other person definitely knows that they pleased you. I'm also picking up on your hair. That's another thing that makes you hot, pile number one. You have amazing hair. Your hair is long. People like to pull your hair. They like to pull your hair. This person, and this may be uh, more than one person that I'm speaking on here because I do keep going back to saying people and then I say they. So um, take the reading how it resonates. This could be more than one person coming through. But yeah, your hair, it's so long for those who have long hair and they love that. They think that's so hot. They think that your hair is really full. They think your hair is very full. They think your hair is very healthy. Mm -hmm. And I just keep on picturing someone pulling someone's hair. Uh Uh-huh. Or maybe this is you pulling someone else's hair. And they think that's so hot. It's something to do with the communication. You're very... Oh, okay. Everything's coming in at once now. You're very, like, primal. Or if you don't feel like you are someone who's very primal or, like, carnal, um, you are very... uh, You make them feel this way about you. It's like you have this way of... um, how do I explain this? You are, you like to fuck, pal number one. You do, you do. And you, it's almost like, I don't want to say pain. It's not pain, but it's just very like, throw me around the room, make it hurt. Like, (laughs) you know, a little pain they they yeah 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 not pain in a way where they're really hurting you okay to this person they just feel so like primal or animalistic even after um the sex with you they feel that way they love that they love that about you they love that with you 
um, this person, they sit there and they think about this like the next day, all day. They think people are thinking about you or they are thinking about you, pile number one. Why they think you're so hot is because you leave such an impression. You leave an impression and like, man, they're like, when am I going to see pile number one again? When am I going to see them again? Gosh, I need to see them again. Okay, so it turns into like an obsession. <laughs> It starts off really like, oh, when am I going to see them again? I really want to see them again until... And then it turns into like, fuck, where are they? Okay, yeah, there's an energy of someone like freaking out or like panicking that they may have lost you. Or um, this is how it feels. This is a part of it or something. This is a part of all of it, you know? This is a part of it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so what makes you so hot is you really take people on a on a, a roller coaster, pile number one. You really take people on a roller coaster, sexually, mentally, um, the way that you talk to them, everything. You're very intoxicating to to them. You're very intoxicating to them to the point where they can't they can't take it sometimes, and they need a break from you. But then they always come back because they really are actually obsessed with you. You know, like that's the energy that I'm getting. Um, why do they think you're so hot? Why do they think my pile number ones are so hot? Mm-hmm, you're show off. <laughs> and I did pick that up at the beginning where I said that you like to be the boss. You like to call the shots. You are that person um, and you like to take care, right? Um, but it's also a show off energy here where it's like, um, let me take care of you because I know what I'm doing, you know? Um, and I feel like that's a part of either your kink or that's just a part of what you like to do or um, whatever, right? But this is what makes you so hot. It's because you know what you're doing. You know that you know what you're doing and you show it off and you are bossy about it. And you also, when it comes to your pleasure, pile number one, that's more so I feel like where you're bossy because it's like nobody has time to mess it up. Okay, listen, I know what I like. <laughs> I know what I like and um I know maybe you want to experiment but like I don't want to do that I want to tell you what I like so that I know for a fact that I am pleased okay that's the energy that you're given here and this is why they think you are so fucking hot okay so that's what I have for you don't forget to go over to Sam's channel. Check out her reading. Um, she's going to be doing their 18 plus fantasies. Y'all are going to want to see that, okay? Um, subscribe to become a raindrop. Know that I love you on a soul level. Peace. Pile number two. <laughs> Why do they think you're hot? Um, well, the, someone wants to propose, okay? Um... So that's a side note. <laughs> um, why do they think you're hot? Um, well, I mean, they think you're hot because you are very expressive. Oh my God, you're so expressive. You are um, the epitome of a fire sign is what I heard, right? So if you're not a fire sign, then, you know, you're given that. You're given fire sign. It may just be the energy that you're in right now. Um, but... You are um, hot. Shit. They think you're hot because you're hot, pal, too. They think you're hot because it's a fact. They think you're hot because it's scientifically proven. <laughs> pal, too, is hot, you know? Like, that's just what it is. Um, you have a lot of suitors. You are aware of these suitors. I think that um, the people that are thinking you're hot know that they never they'll never have a chance with you you could be married pal too um yeah you could be married here um mm, interesting how that came in but yeah why they think you're so hot is because if you are married it's like a challenge people want to take you from your person yeah people definitely want to take you from whoever you're with um and show you a different side of life. I don't know. <laughs> but why they think you're so hot is because uh, you're, you're someone who, um, okay, you're a really good kisser, about to. I don't know who you just kissed recently, but they are in a trance. They're in a daze. They're still thinking about that kiss. And I do feel like you're someone who moves fairly slow with people. Um, like yeah you move pretty slow with people 
So you know, you make people wait. That's another reason why people, that's another reason why they think you're so hot because you make them wait um, for each step each step everything is a big thing for you right everything that you or every step that you take with this love interest is a big step so like the first date is a big deal and then on this first date you did not kiss them all right so on the second date y'all go out and then you you do kiss them but that's all right so they're like thinking about this kiss for until the next time they see you they're not thinking about anything else or anyone else and shit they're barely even thinking about their job they're not thinking about nothing else okay they're thinking about this kiss all right and they're thinking about the next time that they get to see you so yeah pile number two why they think you're hot is because you know how to make them wait for it you're gonna wait shit and i might kiss you i might not i might not <laughs> We'll see how I'm feeling, all right? And then you go on the date, and you do kiss them, and they're like, oh, my God. <laughs> That's the best kiss in the world. <laughs> and so they're thinking about this, thinking about this, until the next time they see you. You, um, man, you linger on their mind, pal, too. You linger on this person's mind. They can't, they wake up. They're thinking about you. They brush their teeth. They're thinking about you. They eating their breakfast. They're thinking about you. Um, why they think you're so hot is because you really, you really um, slow things down. You know, you slow it down. It's they don't have to be so fast. You know, everything doesn't have to happen so fast. Or that's the energy. Mm -hmm. And another reason why you're so hot is because you're so hot, and. You slow things down. I know I just said that, but listen, it's because you look how you look, right? But you move real slow, right? Okay, you feel me? <laughs> That's why you're so hot. You draw this like um, sensuality, sexuality out of uh, whoever it is that we're speaking on here. You draw that out of them. Mm -hmm. You show them their their own sensual side it's different details with you it's your hands it's your hands you may have small hands pal too and this is so hot to somebody your hands being really little <laughs> that's really hot that's really hot it's really hot to them mm -hmm. oh because they're thinking about your hands they're thinking about your hands on the on there can i even say that they're thinking about your hands in places your little hands, right? <laughs> this is why they think you're hot, pal, too. Um, you're giving a very sultry vibe, sensual, deep, sensual, sultry vibe here. Mm, mm hmm. Yeah, and it's your voice. You're very sed seductive, pal, too. You, you're so seductive. You're so fucking seductive. Um, it, uh, your hands, your hands, your hands keep coming through. They fantasize about your hands, um, doing different things. Yeah, I'm really picking up on like a slow moving vibe here, pal, too. So this really could just be slow moving, um, meaning slow moving, moving sexually. Or this just could be your vibe where you move slow before you get to sex. So take it how it resonates for you. But um, why they think you're hot is because of the lead up. It's like the build up to it. That's the reason. That's the reason. And really, I could be talking about someone here that you have not been intimate with. Um, and you're literally in the midst of the build up, right? Um, and this is why they're thinking you're so hot because... It's like everything. They don't know what's next. They don't know. They don't know. They don't. They, it, there's an energy if they just don't know with you. You like to keep people on their toes, and this is why they think you're hot. Mm, mm hmm. They don't know when they're going to hear from you again. They don't know if when they hear from you again, they, they're going to get this magical kiss that I was talking about. <laughs> they don't know. They don't know. Mm hmm. And this is why they think you're hot. 
It's because like you just they 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 just don't know how to. They don't know, but they like it. They like that. They like the mystery. They like the um they like I heard the chase. Um that wasn't what I was going to say. But it, it, they like not knowing what they're going to get, right? They, this is what they like. Mm -hmm. And then when they do get something, they're like, it's like <laughs> throwing a dog a treat or something. <laughs> yeah, it's like, I'll give you a kiss today or something like that. And baby, they're just sent. They are happy. They are thinking about this for the rest of their day, okay? You move very slowly with people and... um this is why they think you're hot because you're not just giving it up quickly. Um, take it if it resonates, okay? Take that if it resonates. Let's get more. Why is my pile number two so hot? Mm -hmm. Why is my pile number two so hot? And again, with the hands. Look at the hands. Look at the hand. Look at the hand. Okay. Um, why is my pile number two so hot? Mm hmm. homie yeah you give a homey vibe and when i say homey i mean like home not like your homie your friend um but you give such a um a vibe where people feel like they can settle down with you um mm -hmm. it's like oh gosh yeah why they think you're so hot is because you have everything you're sexy you're a good kisser you know how to move slow you know how to make them wait you know how to make them like you know feel like they may not even get it you know that that there they love that whoever this person is they love that about you because it's just like a mystery you just never know you never know i keep hearing jack in the box okay i don't know why i keep hearing jack in the box so please comment down below if that resonates with you um but yeah why they think you're so hot is because like i said you are very sensual very sexy very seductive you're also very homey i'm hearing motherly nurturing you have these qualities about you that they love um they can see themselves settling down with you honestly this person can see themselves settling down with you very quickly mm -hmm. like they would they would settle you down very quickly like they would take you off the market very quickly or at least somebody's in the middle of doing that um, mm -hmm. and this person's like listen and th this is someone that you have not been intimate with yet this is following that storyline where I said um, you know you guys have just kissed or whatever whatever um, this person is like ready to take you off the market they're like listen we can get to sex when we get to sex shit we can get to sex when we're married if you want to but I just want to take you off the fucking market like I, I listen I already know what I want I already know what I want Okay, um, mm hmm. <laughs> and again, with your hands, you have the cutest hands, or like uh, something about your nail. I mean, maybe your nails are always done, uh huh. Yeah, okay, so some for some of you, you have the cutest hands, very small hands. For others of you, your nails are always done, um, and they love to see your hands wrapped around there, <sighs> love to see it. They think that it's art. They're like, what nail color are you getting today? Are you doing blue? Okay. And like they, they're, <laughs> they're thinking, they're thinking, they're like, mm, okay. Like picturing how that's going to look, you know? So that's the vibes, pal, too. This is why they think you're hot. Um, do not forget to go over to Samantha James Tarot's channel. She's going to be doing their 18 plus fantasies. You do not want to miss it. Know that I love you on a soul level. Oh, and do not forget to subscribe to become a raindrop. Peace. Pile number three. Why do they think you're so hot? Why do they think you're so hot? Okay, so I just heard beggars can't be choosers. Okay. Okay. So why do they think you're so hot, pile three? You have boundaries. You have boundaries set in place when it comes to yourself. Um, it's like you are like, it's like you got rules. And if somebody breaks that rule, then you take yourself away. You know, this is why they think you're hot because you don't play. You don't play those games. You're not playing games. Okay. Listen, wait a second. What energy is coming in? <laughs> I heard I'm not playing games. I don't play those games. Okay. So listen, um, 
I feel like you talk <laughs> about three. This person thinks you're hot because sometimes they feel like you're all talk. Sometimes they feel like you just be saying stuff to rile them up. Sometimes, yeah, pal three, mm -hmm. you say stuff to rile this person up. You say things to um, make them get a little irritated or get them like out of pocket or like get them to add a little pep in their step. Like act like you know who you're talking to. Woo! Woo! <laughs> act like you know who you're talking to, okay? Act, act, act like you want to be here. Act like, act like, um you know that I'm here or act like what is this coming in uh -uh, I'm not letting it go until it comes in act like you know that I'm gracing you with my time okay because I am that's the energy for pile three act like that you know yeah act like that put on a whole show for that actually please like I want to see you act like you need me or I, I need to know that you do all right pal three this is why they, they feel like you're hot because you make people act like they know who the fuck they're talking to <laughs> listen and the energy with you pal three is like if I'm coming in here if I'm walking in here and I'm talking to you or if I'm walking in here and um you know we're on a date or whatever it is you're sharing your time with someone act like that because really I could be somewhere else doing something else um but I'm not I'm here with you so make it worth your while make it worth mine too you know like that's the vibe that's the vibe like don't don't come over here don't come over here acting like I'm Joe Schmo because that's not the case you know it's not the case all right, so I won't take that treatment or I won't take that. You'll get left. All right, this is the energy. This is why they think you're so hot because you don't play about yourself. You don't let anybody play in your face. You don't let anybody play uh, when it comes to you. You don't let anybody um, treat you like you're not it, right? Because you are it. And as soon as you get a whiff, as soon as you get like the smallest, the smallest, and I say the smallest whiff that somebody's trying to treat you like you somebody else, that you're not, you're gone. Or you're going to speak up and say something about it and then be gone. Yeah, that's the energy. It's like either way, I'm going to be gone. But like I may or may not speak on it. <clears throat> and they think that that's hot about you. There's someone here that thinks that that's so hot about you. It makes them like weak for you that you know your worth yeah it makes them like weak for you because it, it I feel like to them they feel like they lose a bit of power around you but they like this this person that we're speaking on they like this they like when you have the power they like when you um take control when you take control yeah, they love that in any way. This person loves when you take control, whether it be in the bedroom, whether it be in a conversation, child, it, whether it be whatever, just you are in control. It turns this person on and it makes them so weak for you. I'm telling you, I'm telling you, you got the queen of wands right here. Maybe you talk to this person kind of reckless. Listen, I don't know, but I feel like it's something that you guys do, that you guys know that you do that you like yeah it's something that you guys do that you know that you do that you like um <laughs> this person could be someone who is powerful as well or i mean someone who i mean i guess in their day-to-day -day life they they hold a lot of power and this could be in a lot of different ways you know they could be a manager they could be a boss they could be um ceo they could be um in control of a lot of people whatever it is that they do in their day-to-day -day life this person is very in control of things okay so when they get to you they are like take it all take all the control you know like yeah that's the vibe that's the energy with this person they just they love them some you and they love the way you treat them they love how you treat them okay they love how you treat them 
Yeah, pile three. Someone here loves the way that you treat them. Now, I am picking up for some of you. This could be uh, like a crush situation where it, nothing has gotten off the ground or anything like that. Um, and maybe this is someone ooh, who you're establishing boundaries with is what I heard. But when I when I heard that, it wasn't the normal establishing boundaries. This is like letting you know, like, no, 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 it this is the type of dynamic that this relationship is going to be when it comes to me. And if you don't like that, that's okay. Um, you could go. <laughs> Somebody else will do it. You know, it's cool. And they love... I'm not making it up. And they love that about you. Okay? This is how things run over here. So, I mean, if you don't like it, that's totally fine. You don't have to participate. You don't have to do this that's fine but um this is what i like or the, these are my kinks you really could watch pile number one because it's resonating but this, this is the, look this is what i like these are my kinks this is what i'm into this is how i like for this relationship to look like okay um are you cool with that and this person's like absolutely <laughs> absolutely okay and this could really not be something that you guys have like actually sat down and talked about like oh are you okay with these boundaries or whatever um but i think that there's something happening here where this person is understanding um what you like and what you're into okay and they are falling in line because they like it they like it you got the queen of pentacles at the bottom of the deck um so you definitely could be a i heard specifically a capricorn but you definitely could be an earth sign. Let's get more. That's why they think you're hot. Um, maybe you wear red lipstick. If you don't wear red lipstick, um, you should. I feel like this person would like that. Yeah, this person would like that a lot if you did. But why they think you're hot is because it's a steady progression with you. You know, like this person feels like, yeah things are always moving forward with you even if they're moving at a really slow pace because really like i said pile number three calls the shots pile number three calls the shots period so it's like if things are moving they're moving because pile number three said they're moving if things are not moving it's because pile number three is taking a break or it's because pile number three has things that they have to uh, attend to or things like that um and this person is just so like okay i will sit here and i will be a good girl or i mean i, I wouldn't say good boy but i'll sit here i'll wait i'll wait on you mm -hmm. i'll wait i'll wait for you mm -hmm. this person has an energy with you and it's like if you want to move an inch, if you want to move this forward an inch, they're cool with that. They're like, okay, we move, a, we move a little inch. We move a little inch as long as we're moving forward together, okay? As long as we're moving forward together, I don't know. I don't want to move forward not together because I really like you, you know? Um, and this person is, like, obedient. Like, this person wants to obey. This person wants to be obedient. They don't want to get out of line, right? They don't want to get out of line when it comes to you, <laughs> They don't want to because they never know when you're going to take another break. They never know when, um, you know, you're going to call it quits or when you're going to. Um, mm, yeah. Ooh, got sucked into that energy. One last card. Why do you think my power three is hot? Yes. This resting period. Mm hmm. They think you're hot because they know. They love that you take breaks. This person is so into you. Listen, okay, so this person thinks you're hot because they know that you take breaks, spiritual breaks. They know that you take spiritual baths is what I heard. Um, you take care of yourself. Sometimes you need a, a time away. You know, this person's very understanding of that. This person is so understanding of you. They, mm. This person's like, you know, my pal three... They work a lot. They work a lot. And uh, sometimes they need a break. Sometimes they need a bath, a bubble bath. Sometimes they need a good dinner and a massage. You know, my pal number three, they just do so much for everybody and do so much for the world. And, you know, I get it. I get it. Because sometimes I need a break. You know, <laughs> this person here. Oh, my God. They they're understanding, they're over, uh, overstanding, they're, they're, 
anything you want them to be, pile three. Okay, that's the vibe that this this person's giving me. And this is why they think you're hot because um you make it's like something that you're doing to this person. I don't know. It's something that you it's like you make this person like do the right thing. Get in line. Or maybe they're just perceiving it this way because whatever way that they normally live their life is very different from how you do. So um, they, it may be, hmm, in their mind, it seems as if they're getting in line when really they're just matching your frequency. <laughs> That's what it is. Yeah, this person... You make this person get in line in their mind, okay? But in reality, what it is, is in order to match your frequency, it would look like them getting in line. So it may, maybe their life isn't, is, <laughs> isn't as in order or quote unquote, whatever, um, you know, isn't as in order as yours is or what they perceive. And they like that... Um, what this person thinks, why they think you're so hot is because every time they get a chance to talk to you or interact with you or get closer to you, it's like you whip them into shape. You don't do it on purpose either. You don't do it on purpose, but you do You do whip them into shape. It's like every time they go, yeah, it's like every time they talk to you, it's like a scolding or something. Oof. energetically though I, I don't get an energy that you're actually doing that to them on purpose I do not feel that um it's like you're like this person's karma or something you're this person's like bad habit pal three you are this person's like it's like this person wants to be able to stay away from you but they can't but when they do get over by you, they know that they have to be in line or something. If there's something like that, there's a dynamic like that going on here. And they love that about you. This person knows you were sent to them <laughs> by spirit <laughs> to be that. This person's like this, pile number three. Uh, it's going to make me pull my hair out. Pile number three is going to make me pull my hair out. Pile number three is going to make me pull my hair out. Got the ace one. Pile number three is going to make me pull my hair out and I'm going to love doing it. I don't know about three. Let's get the last card. Mm -hmm. Because they, they want to do things for you. They want to show up in a certain way to you. But in order for them to show up in that certain way in their mind, they feel like they need to get in line. Okay. So, mm -hmm. and then, yes, you got the eight of cups at the bottom of the deck. Because um, with you... You, you don't really play games. You don't really play games. It's very cut and dry with you. That's what it is. It's very cut and dry. Dry is the word. Dry is the word. Like, and this is another reason why they think you're so hot because, um, you're just, you're giving a nonchalant energy, not fully, um, but in a way where it's just kind of like, this is how I operate. You know, this is, this is it. This is it. I'm not trying to be anything more or less than, than what I've presented to you. Okay? Do you hear me? Oof. You have that energy, though, that commanding energy, like fatherly energy. I did say Capricorn. I believe I said that for this pile. And um, Capricorn gives daddy, no matter the gender. Okay? Capricorn gives a daddy. So that's the vibes that you're giving. That's the vibes that you're giving, pile three. And this is why they think you're so hot, because they're just like, yeah. Okay, literally, whatever you do say, I will do whatever you say. What do you, what, 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 what do you want me to do? Bet. All right. You know, like that's the, <laughs> that's the energy. That's the vibe that they have with you, pal three. So this is why they think you're hot. Um, do not forget to go over to Samantha James Tarot's channel and you can find other 18 plus fantasies. Um, don't forget to, oh, please don't forget to subscribe. Um, to become a raindrop, know that I love you on a soul level. Peace. Oh.